Hello and welcome to the update for Monday, September the 16th. Thank you for tuning in. And if you'd like to get these updates first, be sure to click the big red subscribe button down below and click the notification bell. We'll start with some highlights from last week. I hope you had the opportunity to grab some ice cream and get the scoop with the student affairs team and learn more about their services. A big thank you to our Veterans Club for organizing a commemoration of September 11th. There's a wide range of activities coming up for the next couple weeks. There's something for everyone, so get out your calendars and I'll go through the list. Starting today, the South Charleston chapter of Bridge by Faith is hosting a breakfast fundraiser, so stop by and grab some breakfast. Also, on Tuesday and Wednesday, they're going to be sponsoring some movie nights as a fundraiser, so be sure to pencil them in. On Tuesday in Davis Hall, you can take five to save lives. Our student affairs team is going to have a table there to help raise awareness of suicide prevention from 11 until 2 p.m. On Wednesday, we have another Visiting Voices series sponsored by our library. Tessin Irfan will be there to share her experiences traveling in England, so be sure to stop by. It is at 1 p.m. in Building 2000, Room 307, and Davis Hall, Room 305. This Thursday, the Office of Student Life is hosting a celebration for Hispanic Heritage Month. It'll be in the lobby of Building 2000 and the lobby of Davis Hall, so be sure to stop by between 11.30 and 1.30 p.m. Now on to some activities for next week. On Monday, there is another popcorn and paint. This time, it'll be at The Grid in Montgomery. If you'd like to sign up, please email Sarah Price. A big event coming up this fall is our new Fall Sports Fest. And we'll give you a little bit of information this week, but we'll include it in more detail in next week's update. And on September the 26th, there will be the Fall Sports Fest in Montgomery at the Montgomery YMCA. There will be cornhole, volleyball, basketball. So start thinking about your teams and contact Sarah Price to get registered. On October 4th at Little Creek Park in South Charleston, there will be our second Fall Sports Festival and there will be cornhole and kickball. So again, start thinking about your teams. This week, we will close the video with some footage from our art gallery at The Grid this past Saturday. We had our opening reception and this month, the artwork is our students' art from their trip to Amsterdam along with some essays. And I'll turn it over for more information. Well, it's wonderful photography done by their fellow students who have taken a study abroad trip. And it's really a testament to their experiences. And it's not just photography. Uh, each student has written an essay about that photograph and what they saw or what they experienced. And I will go so far as to say a life-changing experience. It changes your perspectives and the way you view the world. Uh, and perhaps introduces you to people, cultures, traditions that you may never have even known about or experienced before. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have a great week.